Intel i-series has been around forever and that is going to change today. Today we have the new ultra processors from Intel inside this Acer laptop, but is Intel making an ultra mistake with this new lineup? Well, in today's video we're about to find out, but we have to give a big shout out to today's sponsor, Micro Center. Be sure to cash in on Micro Center's holiday sales going on now on a wide range of tech products. Micro Center is our favorite place to shop for PC hardware and especially laptops like the one featured in today's video. Also for new customers only, you can get started with a 3D printing hobby by picking up the Creel D Ender 3S1 3D printer for only $149. And with their new Charlotte location opening in early 2024, there's bound to be a store near you. So big shout out again to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video. How about we go ahead and open this laptop up and see what's inside. This right here is the Acer Swift Go 14, which can also be had in a 16 inch variant, but we decided to opt for the 14 inch touch screen variant, which is pretty cool. Yeah, so it has like a 1920 by 1200 display. So the 16 by 10 aspect ratio, we're seeing a lot in laptops. Yep, so we got some quick start guide stuff. We got some warranty stuff. Of course, we got to take a look at our power adapter, which is a handy dandy USB-C. We got to love to see that. <laughs> and then we also have, let's see, what are we looking at here? A hundred watts. That's a, that's a weird, weird number. Normally you're used to seeing like 120 or 95 or 90, but hundred watts even. And then we have this nice little laptop. This laptop is much more like a business laptop than it is a traditional gaming laptop. Of course, here in the Toastbrothers, we gotta see if it can game, but considering the portability and the fact that you get 16 cores and 22 threads in such a thin laptop, makes it so that it's a great portable workstation. Yeah, and then this is also, uh, it's a 14 inch touchscreen. I think it's, is it 1920 by 1200? Yep, 1920 by 1200. Yeah, so just ever so slightly larger than 1920 by 1080p. It is IPS. It does have a pretty bright screen as well from what we're seeing, but to go over the ports, I'm gonna start off on the right side of the laptop. We have, it looks like just two indicators, a battery charging indicator, and then I assume an on indicator, a micro SD card reader, a combo headphone jack, a USB 3.2 King Sington lock. On the back, no ports, just ventilation. And on the left side of the laptop, we have, looks like two Thunderbolts, which can also act as display outs, a full-size HDMI, and then another USB 3.2 with charging capabilities. So yeah, the processor is the Intel Core Ultra 7 155H, which is a, well, mouthful. It's a little bit different compared to the Intel Core i7, like 12600K or anything like that. We're going Ultra instead of i-series now. And they only went this route for laptops because, well, they just did the refresh of 14 gen for desktops. So imagine the 15 gen series of desktop CPUs will probably run the Ultra naming scheme. One thing about this laptop that's really cool that kind of makes it stand out as being like a productivity laptop is the fact that it has a 1440p camera, which you don't really see good cameras on almost any laptop. So I'm excited to do the webcam test on this one. All right, 1440p webcam test incoming. All right, hit him with a raw. Ready? Three, two, uh, raw. one. Yes. Testing out that noise suppression. And uh, of course, IPS display, just a really nice overall display. It does have a backlit keyboard. Dude, that is so wild having an animated display just come pre-installed. It looks like Starfield. It's Starfield, animated <laughs> background. Yeah, I noticed that it was very interesting seeing that just pre-installed, so you can move it around. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. But yeah, obviously we did want to go ahead and just get some games pre-installed. This drawer is constantly catching my hoodie. So we're going to go ahead and go over the specs, just confirm everything we got. So to go over the specs, we have the Intel Core Ultra 7 155H, which is a 16 core 22 thread, which is pretty insane. We're at a base clock of 3.8 gigahertz and we have, it looks like 16 gigs. I guess it's eight of eight <laughs> used. <laughs> um, so it's showing that it has two gigs in each slot, but I do think from the research we did that it's just soldered RAM, yes. uh, 6,400 megahertz which is really fast uh, for laptop RAM. We have a one terabyte Gen 4 SSD. Here's our Intel Arc graphics. I don't know what NPU <laughs> means because the Intel Arc graphics should be the integrated graphics. Yeah. There is no dedicated GPU in this, but they're calling all the iGPUs in here Intel Arc. Intel NPU. I'm not really sure what that means, so we'll have to do some research. I think Matt's literally looking it up right now. Oh, so it is like a um, efficiency GPU. So oh. we have the Intel Arc graphics for more demanding loads, mm -hmm. but the NPU is the graphics for just being inside Windows, just doing stuff. Oh. Well, there we go. We all learned something today, hopefully. But yeah, so the specs are looking pretty good. The touchscreen appears to just work fine out of the box. Uh, I mean, it's looking pretty good. I'm liking the IPS display, you know, no pixelation or anything. And I assume we were just 60 hertz. Yeah, I think it should so. be, but we'll, we'll confirm. So yeah, it's just a 1080, not 1080p, it's a, it's a 1200p, uh, 60 hertz display. 
and I think it'll still look pretty decent for gaming, but that's not really what you're buying this laptop for. Typically, that's just what the Toasty Bros do, we game. Uh, but we also are going to be running 3D Mark, so we can actually see how these new Ultra CPUs slash APUs really compare to Intel's old i-series at this point. Yeah, and the iGPU supposedly should compete with like a 680M or 780M level graphics, which we've seen in a lot of mini PCs. So if we get decent performance compared to that in this laptop form factor, it's cool to see at $1,000, it can be a good workstation laptop with a little bit of gaming on the side but yeah I guess we'll just dive into gaming first and then get to some 3d mark testing all right guys we are playing overwatch 2 on this acer go laptop and I'm gonna hope that we get some decent FPS here some some decent gameplay so we are gonna be running some lower settings because of course this is a laptop that is not really targeted towards gaming so we're basically running max fov we have uh just the 1920 by 1200 resolution it is only 60 hertz so you can't go any higher than that uh we're not using like any upscaling or anything so we just have it at 100 percent the stock res which honestly would be a great idea to lower uh -huh. uh, and then we're running just low settings so we're just trying like the stock resolution no upscaling downscaling nothing just plain jane yeah i mean obviously the idea of this laptop is portability. I mean, you don't really get gaming laptops this small and compact. So if you can do a little bit of light gaming on the side, then you do have the benefits That's there. The but, but yeah, we'll be running 3D Mark, the normal time spy, which allows us to compare across all our systems. And then we'll also be running one that's designed for iGPU. So you can compare at home to a 680M or 780M. I'm a trap queen. She my trap queen. She my son, hello. Oh, we're gonna try to set the render scale to auto. Not that it was like, you know, bad or anything. I just think maybe we could get some better FPS here. So we'll let this go down as low as it wants. Not a major difference. It's definitely a very chaotic game for esports title standards and still dip below 60, which isn't ideal for very competitive gaming. Oh, oh, I'm oh in here. God. I'm in here. No, no team, please. Oh. Oh, where did, oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, oh, oh no, you got the ult? Got yeah, that's it. And your team is oh. all dead. Well, it was a short run, but you know, we at least got to see what this ran like. And even trying to do like dynamic render scale really didn't seem to help much. So you might honestly need to actually go in and physically lower uh, the resolution in some games. <laughs> Play of the game. <laughs> Play of the game. Let's, yeah. just, let's just see what Fortnite can do. All right, guys, we are now in Fortnite and we are currently running 1080p, well, well 1200p, 60 FPS frame rate limit performance settings, medium view distance, low textures, and hopefully we can get close to a lock 60 FPS. Now, from what I've been seeing with the launch of the Ultra 7, there is a, a 165H version or a 165H version that might be better overall compared to the 1155H. So you might see some more like, improved gaming performance going that route versus going this route. But yeah, we're, we're getting close to the 60 FPS, but definitely having some stutter here and there. Uh, let me out that window. Please. Thank you. But yeah, I'll probably try some render resolution scaling here as well and see. And that also depends on the model of the laptop you get. This Acer model may just be much more focused on pushing better like work station level task performance and there could be other ones that allow that igpu to stretch a little bit further power wise better ingredients better ingredients better pizza i'm gonna die <laughs> <laughs> oh good god peter oh, blah, 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 blah. leave me alone no come on peter you're done yeah Has to be a bot. Oh! We're shooting at each other. Okay. Think. Wow. Good, good, good times, good times. All right, let's go ahead and run 3D Mark. 
Alright guys, we just got done benchmarking this Acer laptop and we were able to play eSports titles and that is eSports titles only. So games like Overwatch and Fortnite and Roblox and League of Legends, World of Warcraft, those will all play on this laptop but you're probably going to be doing the base resolution or even downscaling at the lowest settings possible. And in terms of the synthetic benchmarks with 3D Mark Times by, we end up with a score of 3,245 which to compare to that very strange eBay PC we got with the green design and wood paint paneling, that ended up getting a score of 3,665. I really think the CPU did carry it in this benchmark, but we did add the Night Raid benchmark, which is the benchmark designed for iGPUs, and ended up with a score of 23,852. There's totally different scaling when it comes to that benchmark, so do keep that in mind, but you can use that to compare to other iGPUs out there on the market. But all in all, this is definitely an office first laptop. It's definitely designed more for things like office work, taking it on the go, being very portable rather than gaming, but it can do some light gaming on the side. So let us know what you think of this laptop in the comment section down below. And big shout out again to Microsoft for sponsoring this video. If you wanna pick this up, check the links in the description for up-to-date availability and pricing. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other to YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. If you guys didn't know, we got the other YouTube channels. We also have twitch.tv slash toasty bros, and we have every social media you could ever want, such as Instagram, Facebook, X, Snapchat, OnlyFans. I mean, we got it all. Whoa! I didn't know about that last one, but you can check all the links in the description down below to get more content from the Toasty Bros if you can't get enough. See you guys later. Goodbye.